Good evening. Now, welcome to my daily recipe. Quite a few people have asked for um, my old burger recipe, which various friends have eaten over the years. And whilst this recipe is adapted, I thought, what a cool thing to do. And both Claude, my wife, and camera woman and I thought that burgers for dinner sounded great. Mm -mm. We spent the whole day in our deer larder cutting venison, getting them ready to send out to all our lovely clients. So I'm going to start with this. This is our beautiful venison mince made from fallow deer primarily, put through the mincer twice. It's just not that fine so that you've still got like texture, but it's delicious. And I'm going to do put some gloves on. So I'm going to start mixing. So in goes our mince into the bowl. This is about 600 grams of mince and this will actually do sort of three nice burgers. So there's our mince. You can see it's beautifully lean. It's got a lovely colour. Now I'm going to start cutting the ingredients for this. So first of all shallots really important. I love shallots. I pre-slice them a little bit, cut them nice and fine and I'm going to put like, for that much, I'm going to put two little shallots in here. Okie dokie, I've chopped my shallots so I'm going to put them in with the mince and now stay on that because I've got a nice fat clove of garlic because I think in this these times garlic and onions both help boost your immune system and wild venison have no cholesterol and it's packed full of protein, antioxidants. It's about as good for you as anything gets in this day and age. Okay, stay on it because I am now going to add some of my fave chili sauce, my Valentina, and I'm going to add a good sploosh of that for for tip for just to give it a bit of oomph. I now add a splooge of ketchup, a lovely generous sprinklage of sea salt. loads of pepper. I want this well flavoured. And then finally I'm going to add some parsley. Okie dokie, I'm going to shred up the parsley reasonably fine. That'll do. And it goes. And now I've just got to mix. So that's why I've got the glove on, get my hand in. And for some reason this flavor, mixture of flavours really works well with the venison. It's tasty, it's delicious, you can still really taste the meat. While my burgers are sort of taking on the flavour, which takes five or ten minutes, or you could put them in the fridge for an hour, it doesn't really matter, I'm going to do some little accompaniments to go with it because we thought we'd have a burger and a nice piece of corn. And here's a nice little tip. So I'm going to take my corn, take a little knob of butter, drop it on there like so, a little bit of seasoning, Wrap the corn up in a foil parcel. Fold the ends up so it captures all the oomph and then I'll pop that on the edge of my charcoal. Now I'm going to make a little tomato sort of hot salsa to put on top but rather than just grilling the tomatoes because they tend to stick to the bars and things. Okay I've got a little sprig of oregano from the garden I've just gone and picked. A tiny drop of like chilli a minuscule splash of sherry vinegar. And finally, just a little bit of oil just to help it on its way. And we'll wrap these babies up really well, fold them over like so. And that parcel, again, will go on the coals like that. Okie dokie, it's burger time. Now there's two ways really of cooking burgers for me. One is in a nice hot pan where you get a nice sear on the outside of the burger and I really like that because it's much less likely to fall apart than it is on the bars of a barbecue. Everyone's had the experience of trying to chisel burger off, particularly lean meat like venison. So I'm going to use my old friend like the, uh, this is actually an Arga toaster but I use it for sardines, I use it for kebabs and again I'm going to use it for these. So I'm going to go into my bowl I'm going to take a nice, generous burger-sized chunk. You notice there's no breadcrumbs in this, so it's good for people who have gluten issues. Nice burger like that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm 
Lovely. Now I'm going to take some oil in my hand. I'm going to rub the burger with oil. I'm going to flip it over and do the same again on the other side. Gorgeous. And now I'm going to drop it on <coughs> like so. You can hear our corn is cooking beautifully. Our tomatoes, I'm just flipping the corn over. Lovely way of cooking this. We're going to give these two to three minutes on each side and then just turn them, turn them, turn them. And I want this to be pink in the middle, but massively juicy. Great, so my burgers have been cooking beautifully. I've turned them over and I'm just going to pop them. <laughs> onto, there we are, get rid of that. Right, I'm popping my burgers onto this foil, because what I'm going to do now is put the foil onto the heat, let them continue cooking on there. And I'm going to get some of this lovely cheese, this Swiss cheese that I was given the other day, which looks beautiful. I'm not even sure which cheese it is, but it looks amazing. And I'm going to take some nice thin wafers of this lovely mountain cheese. It does smell amazing. And I'm going to sit it on there. I'm going to pop a piece of foil over the top like so, and that will act as a little oven, melt cheese, and now we can get on with assembling the rest. So I'm going to use the edge of the grill here. I've got my burger buns. Now these are beautiful brioche buns from a well-known supermarket with a well-known chef's name on them. They are actually really very, very good because I can't be bothered baking brioche at home. I'm just not that clever. Warm those brioche buns up. Let's have a look at our little packets here. So I'm going to go in the top here, open up my tomato. Oh, hello. Look at those little beauties. Mm. Oh yeah. And I'm going to pull the actual tomatoes off in a minute when they've cooled down. Likewise, our sweet corn's all gorgeous. That looks fantastic. I'm going to pour a little bit of my lovely olive oil over the top. So there's our tomato salsa. All I need to do is just somehow get these tomatoes off. So I'm just going to rip them off their stalks. Look, come here, my friends. Okay, we're ready to assemble. We've got to go quick. So I'm going to put my burger buns down like that. I'm going to put some of my tomato salsa that we've just made on the base like so my burgers. Hello boys and girls, look at those. <laughs> that foils magic because it just keeps them safe. And tip a little bit more over the top. Because a burger is supposed to be a little bit dirty, we all know that. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now what one has on one's burgers is up to you, but I like a little bit of salad so I've got some nice romaine here put it on this plate. I've got my famous dressing. Now this is balsamic, extra lovely old balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, whole grain mustard, honey and seasoning. And I just coat this beautiful dressing with that. And add those on top. What one has on the top of one burger is entirely up to the individual. Personally, I love a bit of mayonnaise. So I'm going to mayo the top of these. It kind of sticks the top of the burger. And here we have it. This is my venison burger. Delicious. <laughs> here we go. You so hot. Mm. Well, thank you for watching my burger recipe. It's a staple of our family. It's obviously not the only burger recipe. Everyone has a burger recipe, but it certainly works for me and it's brilliant with venison. Join us tomorrow for another delicious little recipe. In the meanwhile, I'm getting stuck into this. I'm Mike Robinson. Thank you for watching. Mm.